this is a zonal um, not unboxing video but just introduction into the zonal units and if you get one of these delivered um, just give you a quick overview to speed things up for you um, and this will be from us if you already have one of these machines we can unlock them um, normally it would be a site visit or they can be sent to our head office and we can unlock these for you um, we know that these are getting a little bit expensive and some people want to put third party software on them um, great machines by the way very hard wearing and the spec is very good on these so you get your zonal machine delivered or you already have one of these and you want to know a little bit more about it what we'll find is if we lift this up underneath here you will find there's a plastic or like cover that comes off can be very tight if it hasn't been off for a while I would say this one has not been off for a very long time let's get that there and we just basically pop it off so it's like pulled towards you and the cover comes off in your hand so underneath here this is where all your ports live so there's lots of different various com ports that you can see that are available to use um, if you're using printers or third-party printers then you've got two com ports there that are quite straightforward a com port one and two and we have the adapter that comes with this which gets fed through here because generally it is going onto a bar surface where there'll be um, a hole in the bar hopefully for you and there's a little plug at the back I'm just going to plug it in and I'm going to give you a nice close-up of where that goes you see that back right hand side there's like a little plug that goes in so there's some anti-snag cable clips that the cable can go through that's particularly handy because the board inside is actually very brittle um, it's not particularly well designed where that power goes in so it is good to um, obviously put that in there now you'll have two types of plugs that you can use now a sealed kettle lead with this type of connector on it hopefully will go through your bar now if you do not have a hole big enough for the kettle lead then you can actually put your own plug on there but you obviously need to be careful that you're okay to wire the plug yourself so depending on the size of the hole of the bar, hopefully this one will be big enough for you to go through. You plug that into the adapter and plug it in. Now with these units, they're built to hopefully auto power on um, once the power comes on. Because you can imagine if this was in a bar, then um, you had a power cut. You want your till to restart straight away. Now if it doesn't, there is actually a button right up underneath. You can see that, that little red button that's actually how you switch one of these on and off if you needed to you, once you get used to where it is you can literally just put your hand behind it so that's the standard power for the actual unit these are the recommended leads for using for a serial printer now just to give you a bit of a heads up this little bar at the bottom does go into sort of auto um, hiding your Windows taskbar but if you flick it up you can obviously get into there. Now you've got the calibration screen at the top left and then you've got device tests that you can actually use to test certain things are using not working on the actual unit. Now Zonal, the till supplier, the manufacturer of this, they do lock down some of the um, hardware like the swipe you've got the camera that goes on there if I go into device tests so you can see um, it's just the camera which is the front one here and you've got like the Dallas key reader so we can put the fob onto the actual till itself and it gets a good read or if we use the swipe now depending on what till system software says good for that one and the Dallas key says good so everything's working and you can quit out of there now the calibration touchscreen would be if you need to do something with the alignment of this but generally you're probably going to go into your computer and put a USB stick into this till 
and load your own software. So up underneath the till, if we go back to this under here, what we actually have is lots of different COM ports that we can use. So we have, let's get this camera right down. If we go back right under there, as you can see right there, so you've got your LAN cable, that's for your internet, which is on the far left hand side, you'll see that there's some writing there that says LAN. There's your two COM ports that are going to be used um, most commonly. And you've also got some lots of audio outs, that sort of stuff's not going to get used. You're probably going to fire your cash drawer from the actual printer itself. So really the two COM ports there, probably one for a receipt printer, one for a kitchen printer. And that's basically your tour of this till. Now, we do have a emulation of software for these units where it replicates um, the zonal sort of software layouts and how they work, you know, like taking deposits, the table plan, and we also have the app ordering, um, which is a fantastic product that uh, actually links with the till. So if you are actually looking for software that sort of could replace your um, existing zonal software, then please give us a call because we have a very affordable um, option. And th this is how we actually came into um, using and get to learn the, the zonal tills because we actually, this is our app here for ordering. So we basically developed our own apps and um, software and booking and so on, um, working with a software company in the UK to make this whole system emulate a commercial layout and functionality. So um, you can see some more of our videos about that. Thanks for watching.